Hey guys, Tyler here. It seems as though that there is some sort of grand debate going on right now in regards to the anime community. And the main reason why I'm saying that is because basically people on Twitter are debating whether or not we should support licensors. Because it seems as though that people are outraged by the methods that the way the licensors are using the anime to profit. And of course, here are my personal two cents about the whole entire matter, because it seems as though a lot of people are very divided about this issue. A long time ago, I remember a time where basically for anime DVDs and also VHS, there were only three episodes per DVD or three episodes for VHS. And so in terms of like the home releases, of course, like we've gone a long way from there because it seems as though that there are now box sets with almost all the episodes, if not all the episodes. And so people who are growing up nowadays with anime actually have it way better than what people have in the past. However, when it comes down to supporting like the anime creators by purchasing like the official stuff, I'm not particularly sure about that because some of the licensors like behind the anime licenses are really shady people and done shady stuff in the past. Let's take Funimation for example. They practically botched almost all releases for Dragon Ball Z. Of course in the past they had like the single releases with like three episodes. Then they had like the Orange Bricks which of course was cropped into widescreen and was D and R to death. Then for the blurry releases they actually filmed like had like the 4 by 3 aspect ratio and of course they were cancelled. Then for the new Blu-ray set, they actually had like 16 by 9 for the release for Dragon Ball Z. And of course, like all these releases for Dragon Ball Z at one point have been butchered, save for the Dragon Box. Besides the various issues on the various Dragon Ball releases, Funimation on many occasions have put their own personal political opinions and anime even though they were not there in the first place. Of course, here are the clips that I'm talking about to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. Have you got a stick up your ass? Or are you one of those dumbass Gamergate creep shows? Oh, those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves. So I changed clothes. Okay, I can take for granted that for dubbing anime, of course, there are stuff that needs to be changed to fit like the mouth flaps because it's impossible to do like a hundred percent all the time. I totally understand that fact. But there's like another reason to think that in order to like translate something into another language, you don't need to put like your own personal political messages. Like the purpose of localization is to show the show to an international audience by not putting your own personal opinions and to try to stick to the script as much as possible. Of course, like for like subtitles, obviously it's not going to be 100% either. But to try to, you know, find the original intent of the author is the main goal of localization to make sure that the anime or whatever product is accessible to an international audience. There was another anime that was licensed by Funimation, which apparently has strong sexual themes. And by the time they realized it actually has strong sexual themes, they canceled the anime license almost entirely on stream. And so basically no one actually get to see the other episodes of that show. And also the whole entire drama and nonsense about Kick Vic and stuff, it appears to me at least that Funimation of course is not a company I would personally want to support. Also, when it comes down to the issue of Crunchyroll, they're not that great either. Because they claim that, of course, when they license anime, like, almost all the dollar goes directly towards the creators. And guess what? By the time they produced something original, it was not directly from Japan. It was actually made entirely in the United States. That whole entire, like, show, I forgot the name of the show, it was all done in the United States. And it was not, you know, of course, giving money towards the Japanese creators for, like, any kind of shows whatsoever. Now, the main selling point for that anime, so-called anime, shall I say, was the fact that there was, like, so many women staff as part of that crew. So, basically, that's the big selling point. I'm not even joking. Like, here's a clip 
of them trying to sell this whole entire American product of, as anime and saying that having women is the biggest selling point. We are 50% female in all the creative roles, and our writer's room is 100% female. I mean, this is what my whole career has been about. Look, guys, when I buy something for anime or Japanese stuff or whatever, like the main reason why I want to buy it is not to get lecture by politics. Like, of course, I understand that shows can have political themes, but it doesn't feel like it's forced in your face. It feels more nuanced. Like, for example, Akira, for example, is a good show, not show, movie, of how politics could be into, like, a show or movie and actually feel nuanced, or, like, Metal Gear Solid or whatever. I understand that. But if the political stuff that you're pushing into, like, the localization does not fit what the creators want it to happen, I'm sorry. I'm not interested in your progressive agenda. I'm sorry. I'm also not interested and that petty drama for kickflick. I am not interested in, of course, companies trying to invest so-called into Japan while simultaneously fund an animation company in the United States. I am not interested, of course, on various botched releases of Dragon Ball Z. I'm not interested in censoring sexual content. I'm not interested in translations that try to censor stuff because of Western se sensibilities or whatever. Like, the main reason why I would buy something from Japan is because I want to see something that's different than my culture. You don't need to censor anything or try to push a political agenda. Just send me the damn thing that I want to see. That's it. But what do I know? I'm just a consumer, so I obviously have nothing to say on this matter because I don't work in the industry. But what do you guys think down in the comment section down below? And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>